Hey guys, Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Today, we've got a fantastic, amazing twist on mac and cheese in a wok on the Big Green Egg. I'm very excited for it. We're gonna show you some ways to uh, make some 100% kit approved mac and cheese using a few convenience things you can find in your local grocery store. And then we're kicking up that flavor with those crunchy puffed cheese sticks. That's right, we're gonna have a blast. We're gonna walk and roll this out on the Big Green Egg, add some amazing flavor to it. And uh, let's get in here, let's get some cooking done. Tiny bit of prep, but we're gonna do this in under 15 minutes. Ah, let's say about 15 minutes. When we talk ingredients, very easy. You can choose some of that pasta ready pasta that you can find in the pasta aisle at your local grocery store, or you can pre-cook it. Now, I'm using rotini because I want those nooks and crannies to have a lot of cheese. We're gonna use a little bit of that sweet cream butter just to get things started. I'm using a jarred cheese sauce, which your kids are going to absolutely love. We've got our first twist with a little bit of Alfredo sauce. Then we're gonna add some aged cheddar cheese. We're gonna finish it with cheese sticks. That's right, those puffy cheese sticks that we're gonna grind up and make a beautiful crust. We're gonna add a little bit of flavor with oink barbecue rub if you want, but I'll tell you what right here, look at that. We're cooking this in the Big Green Egg wok today, which is gonna add just a beautiful flavor of the Big Green Egg to your mac and cheese. All right, so now that we've got all of our ingredients set, we're uh, actually gonna use a little bit of our food chopper food processor today to uh, blend up those cheesy puff sticks, or you can use a zipper bag as well and smash them up. But before we get our prep done, definitely we're gonna head out and get that big green egg fired up, which will allow it to warm up kind of while we're doing a little bit of prep. And then don't forget, as always, that eye that pops up means this recipe is 100% shoppable. So you'll be able to click that and get into the wonderful world of gear, gadgets, and grills. So let's dive in, get the grill started first, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Our cooking temperature today is gonna be 450 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is we'll bring this up to 200, then we're gonna go ahead and add the expander bottom in that has the ring, because that ring is really gonna give that beautiful stability to the wok. So we'll go ahead and get this all fired up, make sure we get a nice hot ember pile, and we will adjust the top and bottom vents to hold it right at 450 degrees. All right, we'll give it a quick burp. We hit that 450 degrees. Time to add the wok now. We're just gonna let the wok heat up for about two minutes, but we'll go back in, grab the rest of our ingredients. We'll come out, Mac time. First thing I did was I went ahead and closed the bottom vent. Uh, we're gonna be cooking with the dome open, so I wanna have that vent closed so the fire doesn't get too crazy on us. So we'll go ahead and add that butter. We're gonna add the pasta, and I want that butter just to help keep the pasta from sticking, but also give us a chance to kind of warm it up a little bit as well. Now that we've got the butter melted, it is time to add our sauce. And we're make sure we scoop everything out of here. We're gonna add the cheese sauce first. We'll get that all mixed in. We'll set that over here. And we're gonna add that Alfredo in as well. Get that all dialed and ready to go. Now, the beauty of this, everything is fully cooked. So we're just kind of doing a nice heating job, getting everything heated up. And you can see that wok is nice and hot, making sure everything gets heated up fast and in a hurry. Now, I always say you wanna make sure that mac and cheese sauce is bubbling. That's how you're gonna know everything is hot. We're almost there. Oh, no, we got it. We got a little bit of bubbling. So now we'll go ahead and add that aged cheddar cheese. Stir that in until it's just melted. Now, here comes the best part. We're gonna add, if you want, uh, a little bit of that oink rub for some uh, barbecue flavor. So you can add a little bit of that. I'll put a tiny bit over the top. Look at that, bubbling, delicious. And then add as much or as little of that crust as you want. I think this is gonna make it 100% kid approved. Now, here comes my chef's tip. We're gonna close it for a couple minutes, shut the top, shut the bottom, make sure everything is set. Let this cook and crust up just a little bit. I will tell you, dinner in a hurry doesn't get any more flavorful than this, and pretty sure this is 100% kid approved, especially with our ground up cheesy puffy stick crust on the top. Hey, if you're new to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe, hit those post notifications, because you wanna be notified when these recipes go live. We call this like our Mac hack, right? We wanted to give you Mac with a twist today. We did it in the wok on the big green egg. Absolutely amazing flavor, if you ask me. The hardest part, the longest part, was shopping because uh, it didn't take us any time to really get that prep done. And then don't forget, 
like we always say, leave your questions and comments below. We love the interaction, we love the feedback, and we uh, enjoy creating content that you want to use to become a legend in the backyard cooking circuit. And then coming up, we've got some more amazing Big Green Egg content at the end of this, so be sure to click on those videos as well. I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Thank you for hanging out with us. I am, uh, <laughs> I've never looked more forward to quality control than this, because I'm telling you, like mac and cheese with a little bit of seasoning on there and some just, I mean, gooey, easy, cheesy. Cheers.